I'd like to talk today about uh, the EPA test that I took about, I think it's probably about about mm, about four or five months ago it doesn't matter what time what when it was it doesn't matter when it was so hold on I got all right so I'd like to talk a bit, little bit about it so I had the EPA and I took the test and I failed it my first time taking it because I didn't study that's the only reason why is because I didn't study um, I thought I could just go in there and uh, I would already know everything or I don't know what I was thinking I didn't study and so that's the reason why I failed the, fir the first time and then the second time I went in there I, I studied a little bit more before I took it the second time I, I just studied a little bit and I was thinking well Let's we'll see if this is going to be good enough for me to be able to have the EPA, be able to pass it. And it wasn't good enough. And then so I, so I, I made a plan for myself. And the plan was to not take the EPA again until I, until I studied it for until I studied it and studied it every day or every other day I think it was like every other day or every day you know I just studied it for like a while a long time until I was knew that I would go in there and pass it so what I did was I, I studied the little EPA packet book that they give me that they give you or that you buy it's like 20 bucks or whatever it's the EPA this is EPA for section 609 for HVAC so um, I, I took this I took this packet and I studied it for a long time for for about a month or two until I right now to this day and it's like four months later and I still know what the book looks like just by sitting here like talking to you like right now I'm just talking um, like right now I, I can just picture the book the pages in my head and pretty much read the pages like in, in my in my head you know in my thoughts or whatever and so I've studied it that much and then I went in there and now I, I still remember like almost every word of the book not almost not all the words not every single word in the book but I still remember it pretty good because I did study a lot so so what I did was I studied and studied and then I finally went in there and then I with everything that I've studied this whole time and I was praying you know I was just I, was, I don't think I made any prayers I, I might have I'm not sure but I was just I was so confident in knowing that I was past it that I was gonna pass it because I knew the whole book I studied it so much that I knew the whole the whole book the whole little packet book that they give you for like 20 something books I studied it so much I knew the whole book so then I went in there confident and then I sat down and took the test I actually had the proctor uh, read it to me the proctor read it to me read the test to me while I was listening and she sat next to me she read the she read the uh, the test and I listened and then I read some of it and then I guess she listened or whatever but it doesn't matter so I just needed a little help or a little bit of somebody like were able to read it and that's and then so I was sitting there and taking the test and I answered every single question and just kept on answering them because I knew them and I walked out of there with the two 100s on the core I made like a passing grade on and the way the EPA works is you have to pass you have to pass the core in order to you have to pass the core no matter what and then if you pass the core uh, okay let's say that you take a test you take the the EPA 609 test and then you and then you pass type 1 and type 2 but you didn't pass the core well then that well then next time you take the test which they'll let you keep on taking it until you until you can get the license until you get, can get the certificate they'll ke let you keep on taking it the test over and over and over again so then 
what it is is okay if you pass two two of the tests and then you don't pass the core well then you have to whenever you go take the test again you have to t take type one type two type three and you have to take the pass the core you have to you have to pass the core if you do not pass the core then you can't pass any one of the tests any one of the three tests the type one type two or type three so i passed the core i passed the core when i passed the core i passed the core the first time and then the third time i took the test i went in there and i passed all of them i passed type one type two with hundreds and type three with like a 80 something so yep and that's the epa that's how to uh how to pass the epa thank you for watching